this morning at measuring, cutting, soldering, yeah? Who had leaks? Yeah. Okay. Exactly. If we're going to bend, okay, there is no joints, so there's going to be no leaks. Okay. It's going to save you on money, right? and it also looks more professional. But it takes a lot of practice. Yeah? There are people out there okay, with plumber in on the side of the van. They've got one of these in the van. They get to work, open the door, go like that. And that's where it stays, holding the van door open. Because okay? it can't bend. Okay? <clears throat> it's a strange machine. To start with, you think you're going to need three hands. Okay? Just concentrate, visualise the bend. We're going to do the four main bends. Okay? And start with a 90, then an offset, okay? then a crossover, then a partial crossover. All bends are just variations of those main four bends. You have different sizes, okay? Add them all together, okay? But the principles are all the same. We're going to deal with 15 mil pipe, okay? The process is exactly the same for 22 mil, just add a bit more porridge. Understand? Now, these are standard industry straight arm benders, okay? You can get fancy ones. Barco, Rothenberger, things like that, okay, which are not standard, they're specialist, okay. The only difference between them and these is they'll give you a much tighter bend, that is all, nothing else. With standard benders come standard guides, okay. These get worn out, okay. They come in a cardboard box in bubble wrap, look after them, because whatever you get into there will be transferred into the pipe when you bend it, okay. So don't just chuck them in your toolbox on top of everything else. But if you do damage them, or dint them, or whatever, okay, because they're standard, any standard bender, you can use their guides. And they're not that expensive. If you've got specialist benders, you've got to go back to the manufacturer, right, and pay upwards of 50 quid for a new set of guides. Okay, this area is known as top of the bender, okay? And the top is the stop, okay? These are the benders open ready for use, and there's a gap between the arm and the stop, so we can freely move it, okay? If you open them too far, the stop won't move, okay? If you've gone completely the other way, and it looks like an axe, you've gone the wrong way, okay? Then we've got the formers, okay? Form the bends, okay? It's only for 15 and 22, okay? For 28 mil, and above is you need the big tripod benders. Then we've got the rollers. Okay. Check the bolts are done tight. Very important if you're doing 22 mil. That roller is square into that former. Okay, where the stress is designed to take. If you don't check the bolts, right, the tightness before you start, that pin starts to come out. When you put it under stress, it's going to bend. And then the stress is on the side. Okay, it's not designed to take that kind of stress, you're going to end up wearing it. Understand? Then with your guides, check there's nothing in the guides. Okay? So you're going to transfer nothing into the pipe. When you're bending, maximise the lever principle. Okay? Hold them at the ends. Make life easy. Okay? Later on, I'll show you a safe method of bending 22 mil without hurting yourself. Okay, that's the machine itself. Okay? With the guides. The guides come with it. Okay? A 15 and a 22. We're going to start off bending okay? 15 mil pipe to precision measurements. It'll take five minutes to learn how to use it. Again, just bend, cut the ends off, that'll do. Okay? That's what a lot of people do in industry. You're wasting too much material. Okay? 25 mil is acceptable waste. Chucking away bits like that is unacceptable waste. It's all gonna add up, gents, okay? So, where you measure from, okay? Wrong pen. Where you measure from must always be at this end of the bender. 
So we measure from there down. So to help you with that, just literally scribble on the pipe so you know which way we're going, okay? So I know when it goes in the bender, I'm the right way around. If you can measure it and put it in the other way around, upside down, you'll be the width of the former too big. Understand? So that's where we're going to measure from, okay? I'm going to bend it so my new centre line is exactly at 150, okay? So when it's bent, that's where my new centre line is going to be, exactly where we want it. That's where I measured from. There's the centre line. Come back half a diameter and use a bit of pipe so you get it exact, okay? 15 mil pipe, it's back seven and a half mil, or you can just use a piece of pipe like that. If we're bending 22 mil, you go back 11 mil. Now it's ready to go back in the machine, okay? Where we measured from, centre line, back half a diameter. All happy with that? Now, if you've never used one of these before, remember pipe, stop, guide. Okay? Pipe, stop, guide. Mm. Pipe in first. Stop. Guide. Okay? No, it's not even let go. Swap hands, change the bender. Right? Closed it in. That's now a bending point. But it's not yet in the right place. And you must make sure the benders are closed. Then we can use the square. It's got a fat end and a thin end. Put the fat end on the pipe. Push it all the way in. Okay. What we're looking for is that seven and a half mil line to be in line with the edge of the square. And you can see it's too high at the moment, isn't it? Okay. You all see that? Yep. Right, so the pipe has got to come down. Don't use your hands. Okay. You look like an octopus, okay? Just bring it down slightly. Okay? Cut a pin more. There it is. Okay? Benders are closed. There's my 7.5mm line, and it's in line with the edge of the square. You'll see now. Once you're in that position, bend okay now you'll notice it's got lines on it okay there is one there one there and one there those are guides to help you so you don't over bend 30 45 90. you bend the pipe until that point of the bender is on the edge of the pipe Don't take it out yet, it's not finished, okay? Ease off slightly, okay? Only slightly, okay? Now, this end hasn't done anything. This is the standing end. This end's doing all the work. The running end, okay? Always line your square up on the standing end, okay? Doesn't matter where, front, centre, rear, doesn't matter, okay? as long as it's in line with it, okay? And then you can see what you've running in's got left to do. You'll see that? This one, cut a bit more and we're in again. Always check before you take it out of the bender. When you're happy, take it out and look where your seven and a half mil line should be. If we measure it, good. the bit we wanted, put off to nine o'clock, put your big ruler in front, and there's the 150 going right down the middle of the pipe. Any questions, gents? Right, 
what you're going to do on one piece of pipe and one only if you make a mess of it don't worry we'll come back to it don't do another piece mark one end okay measure down 150 put a mark go back half a diameter put it into the bender pipe stop guide move it up and down to line up with your square once you're in line bend it don't take it out till you reach the required angle when you're happy take it out measure it and see what we got <laughs> 